Thanks to round two for sending me these cases of Johnny Lightning muscle cars, round one. I took out the two inners for the A case assortments. That'll be B, I'll open those next. Let's see what cars are in the mix. We get uh, plastic clamshell protectors this time. Oh, nice color brown. Check out that brown. That is sharp. Opening hood, rubber tires. We'll be looking at this in a second. Uh-oh, the card slid down. I guess that'll be the one that I open it up if, uh, as far as, because uh, they sent me two cases so I can do a side-by-side -side unboxing. If I get a chance at a, I get a chance at a white lightning. Here we have the 1970 AMC Rebel machine. Now, if I, if I happen to get a white lightning, then I have a case to compare it to so you know what the regular release would have been for that white lightning. Nice red stripe wheels on this 1967 Chevy Chevelle Malibu. Here we have the 1971 Buick GSX. Nice color for the 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. It's kind of an orangish color. I'll be opening up every car, uh, or at least one of the, every car. Put them on the turntable so you can see the details. Here you have the 1969 Dodge Coronet RT. Now let's go ahead and open up the other case. If you were to find a white lightning, it would have uh, all white features. Here is the GTO again. The Rebel Machine. Chevy Chevelle Malibu. Buick G GSX. 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. And the Dodge Coronet. And yeah, you've seen it. There you go. All white tires, pearl white body. These are the chase pieces for Johnny Lightning. Uh, they call them white lightnings. Generally have white traits. For the first year, they're going to have white tires and pearl white bodies. And this car, let's see, what was the regular, what was the regular color for this one? So in the A mix, this is the regular issue. But if you happen to, oh yeah, the picture's right there too. The, uh, if you happen to get a white lightning, you'll be looking for this Primo Mach 1. Here we have the B assortment for release one of the Johnny Lightning muscle cars. It'll be the same six cars, but it'll be like an alternate color. Uh, I have forgotten if the uh, card art is going to be the same as release A. Uh, I'll find out in a second. Oh, by the way, the uh, that chase piece, the white lightning, I also forgot if it's 2 or 3% of the production run, pretty limited. I see a white car right there, but just because it's white doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a white lightning. It has to be pearl white paint with uh, white tires. That will be the chase designation for white lightnings for this year and possibly next. Okay, so they're going to use the same card art. You have red for the alternate color of the Rebel machine. Red looks pretty good, actually. Even though I collect red, white, and blue, uh, I might buy this, I might not. I'm really more interested in like a patriotic Stars and Stripes type uh, red, white, and blue. Speaking of blue, this is a beautiful blue for the Buick GSX. Coming up on a white one. Nah, see, it's just a white car. It's not a white lightning because it doesn't have white tires. And as far as a pearl white paint, let me see if I can compare it. Let me get that, uh, where'd it go? I lost it already. I don't know if you can really tell the difference in the pearl white paint. Pretty hard to tell on this. Oh, I can see the difference. Yeah, I can see there's a little bit of a pearl in the paint. When you compare them, you definitely can tell. Now I'm trained. This is just kind of like a flat white. Oh, I can see the difference now. So. Uh, just because you find a white card doesn't mean it's a white lightning. If you like the card, buy the card, whether it's a chase or not. Another blue 
for the Pontiac GTO. A little bit different color. Very close, but it's uh, different. Cornet, Dodge Cornet. And last but not least, uh, this color of the Ford Mustang. And I'm pretty sure Johnny Lightning, they use factory authorized or authentic factory colors from uh, the manufacturers. For uh, people who appreciate that detail, it's an, uh, you know, it's a nice touch. For me, I just kind of buy the cars I like, I buy what I like as far as appearance. And um, color, whether it's a, an authentic color or not, it does not necessarily mean a whole lot to me. Now, if it was my car and I, they came out with my car in that color, then that would be fantastic. Here you have a red for the Rebel Machine. Buick GCA, GSX, Chevy Malibu, Hornet, GTO. So no, uh, no white lightning in the B case. Let me get my uh, scissors and crack some of these open. I'm going to go in order of the collector number of the set. Number one, the 1970 AMC Rebel Machine. As you can see, opening hoods and detailed engines. This was A and B, not that it matters, but uh, just in case you forgot. Now this one, all of them uh, have, well, I don't know yet. I haven't looked at them all. Metal base, and as you can see, they have a detailed chassis. This is the only car out of the uh, set of six that has plastic tires. So if you like doing downhill racing, this is going to be the one that you're going to want to pick. Something uh, that's nice is they have this uh, part painted black so that you can see the intakes or the the place where, uh, that's where the air goes in, right? Nice printing for the side details as well. You also have headlights, black painted grills. And as expected, brake lights and printing here and here. They don't have any limitations to the number of prints as long as they do what they need to make it look realistic. Every side has printing as opposed to other manufacturers where they say that they can only decorate a couple sides since these are adult collectibles, higher price. You can get printing on all the sides and additionally, you have trim around the windows. Number two, the 1971 Buick GSX. And actually, you know which one is from A because the car will match the color on the card. Opening hood. I think that the yellow one, I, I think I had a tough time with the yellow one. I can't get these to stay propped open, but you can see that they have uh, detailed engines and opening hoods, of course. Printing in the front, window trim, racing stripes, painted hood. There's a look at the side details. GTX Tampo on the quarter panel. License plate, brake lights, etc. By the way, this spoiler, this wing right here, uh, it seems to be plastic to me. I'm sure it's for uh, manufacturing reasons because they probably pop, they pop that part in. I don't think the trunk opens. No, no lines. And metal base with rubber tires. When you see this blue one in person, the color just shines. What a what a beautiful color. Just like a color you'd see on a car when it's uh, freshly painted right out the factory. Beautiful color. Number three, 1971 Pontiac GTO. Both of these colors are fantastic. Love this brown. Opening hoods, detailed engine, nice printing details. As far as the engine, there's only one silver part right here on the side. Otherwise, it's a nicely textured engine. For the wheels, uh, car aficionados, you're probably going to recognize these rims, and it has a uh, dot. It has a red dot in the center. You guys probably know what that, what kind of wheel that is in real life. Again, nice printing on the back. The spoiler does appear to be plastic as well. The base. Look at all those details. And rubber tires. Number four, 1967 Chevy Chevelle Malibu. And by the way, the backs of the cars are all the same. That's why I don't show them. It just shows the uh, collector list of the batch. This one has a much more detailed engine. 
this is uh, this was definitely this is really nice when you spend extra money for a nicer car you get those kind of details check out the painted roofs nice it breaks up the car uh, two-tone paint let's take a look at the wheels as for the rims themselves they're not shiny chrome kind of a gunmetal gray nice red stripe wheels and now that I zoomed in you can see the other details like handles you get a sneak peek at the brake lights and it also has the badging on the side as expected details on the back license plate brake lights while white is obviously a color that automobiles use on the road today for the toy car model I like this gold version 1969 Dodge Coronet RT that's number five in this series again opening hood there's your engine doesn't have much details but you know what it's a separate piece it's orange and you know the interior is white it's not like some other companies to where they use the same piece to be like the motor the interior the bumper they kind of uh, you know they do budget stuff while here you have adult collectible so you have a separate piece for the engine of course once again you can see the details of the front of the car for the interior it does have a separate plastic piece here for the cover right this would be the cover that would come up over the car if I can nitpick about one thing you see this body feature pops out on the car just like these pop up this looks like it pops out you can see that they replicate this feature on the hood it's molded and it pops out and then to make it look like an opening they tamper it black and then they have this printed right here for trim well those side panels uh, it's indented it's, they don't pop out it's indented and not only that it's not even painted black um, I don't know why they do that license plate brake lights of course you got a nice stripe going around the rear of the car as far as the, the base itself yeah metal again nicely detailed rubber tires by the way I think I forgot to show you the base or in case I forgot to show you the base of the uh, Chevy Malibu metal base rubber tires number six 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 oh, I love this casting there are other brands that do this model but maybe you don't see these kinds of details opening hood you got an engine separate piece you have an engine separate from the out surroundings right it's, it's popped in the middle and it does have some detail printed on it once again headlights tail lights silver chrome for the bumper you got silver trim for the windows while this size wheel might be right for what was on the streets, eh, as a model like this, I would love to see racing slicks on there, big fat pieces of rubber. That's what I would like. Here you can see the other details. Side markers for the, on the side there. You got the bumper, handlebars, trim. Yeah, how many times do I have to tell you? Oh yeah, look, Goodyear printed wheels. And this does have uh, rubber tires, metal base. As far as the first one, which had plastic tires, even though it has plastic tires, it's nice that they give it a chrome insert. It's a two-piece wheel. So that's kind of a nice feature as well for their adult collectibles. Of course, I did not show you one car. It's time to take a look at that one. Nice mix of colors for the models in the batch. Some are my favorites. I don't know about you, but of course, everybody's favorite is going to be the pearl white paint of the White Lightning. Let's go ahead. Uh, sorry, I'm not opening it up kind of would be cool if they made the card wouldn't that be cool if they made the card white white like the uh, chase let's take a look oh let's grab one of these let's get the one that's uh, on the card uh yeah i'm not going to open it but it, get, it gets the same details opening features hey check out the hood it has on the hood for i can't see it right now but when i edit it i'll see that for something for the uh, engine size got the details on the side still has the same details on the side of the model mm -mm. these are the kind of white lightnings that I like white tires white paint well even if they go to a white tires and a white interior I like those too I like white tires on my white lightning that's just my personal choice by the way on the back they do have a little bit of uh, commentary if you'd like to check that out and as I said all the cards are the same but yeah very cool to get a white lightning doesn't happen very often very small two percent or three I forgot I think it's only two percent of the run so you know if if they make four thousand pieces only two percent are gonna be uh, white lightning 
that's a that's a very small production number. Very cool. And they used to I don't remember if they used to stamp a number on the base, but you don't need to you don't need to know that. What's that blue right there? Is that on here too? Sure is. Oh, the, the license plate. The license plate's kind of going underneath the uh, bumper there. Didn't notice that before. But anyways, very cool find. Thanks again to Round 2 for sending me the uh, products to unbox and feature on the Race Grooves YouTube channel. Now over 370,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Bye-bye.